Okay, harmonic tricks. We're trying to nimble up our harmonic thinking so we can bump in some interesting possibilities that might surprise us. So we're going to start in the key of A, and we're going to play a 2-5-1, B minor, E7, A. And you convert A to a 2, and you play 2-5-1. Now we're in the key of G. Repeat the process. G minor, C7, now to get back, we'll do the two fives, but we won't resolve them. G minor, C7, A minor, D7, B minor, E7, and home. Of course, you can give this all kinds of different rhythms. That's kind of a shitty rhythm. Don't ever do that. <laughs> but make your own ones up. So that's... That's a modulation exercise using two fives, and we're modulating down in whole steps, and then we're going to come back up. Um, to remind ourselves that anything can be the key center temporarily, any chord can go minor, and anything can become a dominant that leads you to another chord. So with that thinking in mind, we want to talk about the relative minor, which is based on the six. So A, A, seven, six, F sharp minor. Okay? So we're going to take an A, and we're going to play one five, using a C form E7 chord, and then use the C sharp 7, the dominant 3, which now functions like a 5 to F sharp. That's going to be the portal to F sharp minor. And then do the same kind of contrast. Once you're ready, E7. third trick was just to use some chromaticism in your life. Take a major chord, move it up a minor third to C, and then just come down chromatically. Seven chords, of course, are cool for this, too. Sorry, I don't know what the fuck I just did, but you get the idea. And then just go to the four and do the same thing. It's easier as the seventh chord is comfortable. Now we're going to look at deal um, to, to apply some of these principles. So one, three dominant, taking into six like we expect. Then the one with the five in the bass, E A over E to D seven, D sharp diminished finger different. One. Now chromatic seven sound to F sharp. Two dominant and four dominant. So then the progression will repeat, but the second time around I want you to take the high F sharp minor so that you see the root motion going from F sharp at nine to E at seven. And then it goes down to D and to D sharp. You have this nice bass line. And then the chorus is the simplest part. It's the standard rock, the one flat seven four. friend. Um, and if you want to start messing with crazy, it's in B flat. And then she goes chromatically up to the four. So. And then she comes down diatonically. Four, three, two, five. Crazy. One, flat seven, six dominant. For P. Two, long two minor diatonics only, and then eventually.
country the five. I'm crazy. I think sometimes she gets the augmented chord. In. Being so blue. I'll show you this turn on briefly. It's just B flat. You can resolve it there instead. Two. B diminished, just like we talked about, as a passing tone to the C minor. Two. And then the five. We talked about that last week. It's one of the most standard turnarounds in all of, of jazz and pop and everything. Mm -hmm. 